What's going on, guys? My name is Liam. You might know me as Grom from various social media platforms. Um, and I'm going to show you guys how I make money on Etsy today. So I'm going to try to keep it as simple and fast as possible. I don't want to draw it out. But um, yeah, basically what I do is I have this shop on Etsy. You're going to want to set up a shop. You want to pick a category that you're going to focus on. And then you're just going to copy listings directly from Sheen right over to Etsy for about double the price. Okay. You want to make sure the price is reasonable. Um, it has to be something that you would spend for that product. Think about what people would be happy spending. So for shorts, I sell them for about $20. People are happy buying shorts for $20. It's normal, but I buy them for $9. So every time an order comes through, I'm making about double the profit just by placing the order for them. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. You're going to want to head over to Sheen, pick a category, okay? Um, I wouldn't recommend shorts or whatever because I've done that and it's it's a little oversaturated at this point. That's why I've branched off and done like things like wigs, blankets, um, bikinis. I've done all those other because they're more you'll you'll get more focus in the in the niche than you will for clothes for clothing. So come over to Sheen, pick your category. For this example, I'm using hats. Feel free to use hats as well because just by looking at this, I think it's a really good category for you. So go to hats. You're going to want to look through the listings and save some of them. Okay. Save some that you want to add to your shop in order to save them. I'm going to go here, click this little heart icon, save it. Okay. And you're going to want to look through, look at the reviews, look at the reviews that the listing is getting. Um, you want to make sure it sells a lot and you want to make sure it's not going to really go out of stock all the time as well. So look, once you have your listing saved, you'll have a few options here. I got a couple hats saved. And what you'll do from that point is you would come here and you can just screenshot it. Okay. See how I'm like, I use opera GX browser. So it makes it real easy to just take screenshots like that, but you would get these screenshots, save them all, and then go over to your Etsy, publish a listing, which after you make a shop, you know, it'll ask you to publish some listings. Um, but you add a listing here and you would just go through this whole process copying anything necessary over from sheen to etsy and um if you run into any problems along the way because this whole page will seem confusing at first if you run into any problems please look it up or reach out to me i'll be happy to answer any questions maybe i'll leave my discord in the description that might be a good way for you to reach out for some help from me but um what you're going to want to do add all your photos to here if you're doing a bunch of different colors add the different colors as your other photos. And then you can come down, fill out the description and title. You can copy that directly from here, making any changes you feel necessary. Um, and yeah, so for the production partner, this is another thing. I, I just say Romwe as my production partner, even though it's Sheen, I used to use Romwe. It doesn't matter because the production partner, nobody sees this except you and Etsy, I guess, but they don't see the name, whatever. So I just have it as Rom. We I say that they're my main supplier. I say they produce the shorts and I'm selling them. That's what I say. And I say I don't have the technical ability to make it. And they finish the product and I add branding and whatever. That's just what I say as they're my supplier. So I would put that on every listing. So basically, you picked your category, saved some listings, created your Etsy shop, and then added those listings to the Etsy shop for about double the price. And now you're going to want to focus on the branding. You want a decent profile picture and a decent cover art. You want it to look somewhat professional um, and authentic because people are going to see like no one wants to buy from a shop that doesn't have this. You know, people want to see that this is real. This is like a, a good shop. They put time into it. Now I'll take you over to another one of my shops. Just wigging it. So this is my other shop. As you can see, that's my little picture down there. We got um this nice banner that I paid somebody $5 to make on Fiverr. And I made this logo myself that you, there you can see it. But see, all these listings are from Sheen. I've just added them over and they sell really well, especially around holiday. Um, oh, there's a little review right there. Oh. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you're going to want to set up all your listings. Um to match your category. And once they're up, that's basically it. Um, I don't want to go too in depth. I think this was a decent rundown on what I do. Uh, just to give a slight summary. 
you're going to want to find a bunch of listings on Sheen that are pretty cheap, but still good quality, still sell a lot of them and have good reviews. Add those listings to your shop on Etsy. Um, make sure your shop is built or branded kind of to match. You want to have a good profile picture, good cover art um, and all that. Add all the listings to your shop. You want to have the you want to have a good title. You know, it'll probably be the same title from Sheen, but Sheen already has good titles. You want to copy the description over. You want to add a bunch of keywords to the tags because search engine optimization is extremely important on Etsy. And these are all little things that I can go into later to help you guys um, maximize profitability on your shop. I've, I've done all the little tests over the years. I've tried everything. I kind of know the best methods, but I would have to go way too in depth to cover them all. I'd have to do them individually. Please let me know in the comments or whatever what you want me to focus on because this is just a very brief rundown of what I do and I hope it helped you guys. So yeah, thanks for watching.